Speaking of things that Google is bad at, um, because this is a segue from the last for the trivia question and Google right, yeah, like, killing things. Uh, it's Google, better when you explain it. Yeah, Google <laughs> Google's also really bad at keeping things a secret. You've noticed how they leak like their own products on the regular to the point where it's a meme. Yeah. Turns out they can't keep other people's secrets either. You don't want to be friends with Google. Sorry, that was a really long segue. <laughs> really long gossip. segue to say that uh, Google ended up saying on an Android website that Apple is bringing RCS to the iPhone in fall of 2024. We didn't know when it would be. Mm. We knew it would be sometime in 2024. Yeah. Now it appears that Google has accidentally told everyone that it will be fall of 2024. Yeah. We don't know yet what this actually looks like. Yeah. We know that the iPhone will support RCS. If I was guessing, it'll still be a green bubble. It'll still not support all the features of iMessage. Mm -hmm. It'll still be very heavily segregated of this guy has an iPhone and this guy doesn't. But fall 2024. It'll be encrypted. It won't be I'm SMS guessing. anymore. It won't be unsafe. Exclusive yeah. to yeah. the iPhone 16 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> that would be oh brutal. <laughs> it would yeah. be brutal. But just buy your mom a new iPhone is yeah. the thing. Yeah, no, I think that's that's basically it. Yeah. We talked a little bit last week about the uh, Department of Justice's antitrust lawsuit against Apple and how that's a whole big thing that's starting and probably going to be going for a long time. Years. Uh, and one of the one of the sort of pillars of it was the blue versus green bubbles. So it's still TBD what this support looks like, but now you know. Yeah. Fall. I have a question for David. Uh, you said that when... Apple implements RCS, you're switching to an Android phone. Mm -hmm. So what phone are you going to pick this fall? If slash when this happens, what's like top, like I'm getting this one. The phone thing. I want to try the most right now is the S24 Ultra. Okay. Yeah. I will say I have been, between reviews, I have been returning to the S24 Ultra the most. And it's an incredibly good phone. Yeah. And I kind of for a while was like, let me hit the Pixel up one more time. Let me go back to the Pixel 8 Pro. And for this this past weekend, I was on Pixel 8 Pro, and it's it's really close. Hmm. But the S24 Ultra, I think, is the best Android phone out right now. I love my regular S24, and I'm yeah. sure the Ultra, if you're down with the bigger phone, is probably just way more well, good. I'm just really into the flat sides and the texture of the metal. The flat sides, I will give a lot of credit to the incredible display, the anti-reflective coating oh, yeah. on the display, the really, really fast fingerprint reader, just like having an optical fingerprint reader on the Pixel just very quickly yeah became obviously slower yeah yeah it's a good phone can can i throw something out there that maybe our audience can help us with because it's something marquez and i have had an issue with on our phones and i can't figure out the setting to change it mm, yeah. so if a floating notification comes up on when you're inside the phone if you accidentally swipe that notification it makes a pop-up app and i hate oh, yeah, pop-up apps yeah, yeah, they're oh. the worst. I hate them. It's oh, yeah. a picture and it's like picture and picture. It's yeah, it's like picture it's and picture message bubbles or something. It's, I think no, it's a little I, different. Well, notification different. bubbles, yeah, it's slightly, well, slightly different from. So notification yeah. bubbles are one thing. They mm -hmm. baked that into Android after it got popular through Facebook Messenger. Yeah, and this it's is not that slightly it's different from that. Okay, it is specifically Samsung's picture and picture window over a. It's a smaller version of the app over the top of whatever's in the background. I don't like that. I don't like it. Yeah, I yeah. understand why some people would like it. My problem is, is like when the the notification bubble comes up, I think I turned it off. So if I click it, it won't do that. No, 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 never mind. I don't know how to do it. If you click it, it just comes up in the app. If you swipe down accidentally, hmm. like so if you click it, but you just pull a little bit, it turns it into that window. And then every time I have to hit the maximize button and go up again, and I haven't figured out how to do it. There's ways you can like disable pop-ups, but that's more along the lines of like- The if notification you're in, itself. Or if you're in like Google Maps and you swipe away and it pop stays as a floating oh, thing, yeah, like, yeah, and then yeah. I disabled them all and then realized like, oh, I don't have YouTube Player as a pop up mm -hmm. thing outside of an app anymore, or Google Maps is that, and I can't figure out this one thing, yeah. and it's driving me crazy. I yeah. don't. So know. please, if you know how to fix it, a let me know. Samsung. Little I have Samsung a, a quick pro tip for anyone that's thinking of getting the S24 Ultra. Mm -hmm. Just get the champagne model. The is color? that what it's called? Yeah. Titanium? Color. Titanium, yes. Just get that one. Everybody's doing titanium Why? now. I got the black one because I was like, everyone's getting the titanium. I, I want to be different. 
the titanium is so pretty. I, I'll i trade with you. I love you my orange trade? one. I you really want the black one? I really kind of want a black one. Oh. Let's do it. We'll trade right Because oh, wow. the titanium, it's nice. Do the same storage? But there's, uh, uh, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know. I don't we'll know. figure it out later. Yeah. But I, yeah. I kind of want a black phone. Again. I like the black one, but the titanium is just so pretty. Are the fingerprints so bad? Or you have a case, so it doesn't matter? Yeah, I got a case. So yeah. whatever. There's yeah. something, I, I have the orange one, and even though it's in a case, like you can just still see that like, Gold. light shimmer on the three cameras just like do it exactly oh, yeah, the same nice. as you move it i think it looks fantastic Ellis, which uh which samsung phone do you have <laughs> 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 hashtag ad <laughs> no we i i um, i think that phone is is really good. where were we we were talking about I, I, yeah i was gonna <laughs> try to, okay. i was gonna try to pull us back okay. but while we're talking about samsung i do want to know something real quick mm -hmm. so i don't really watch tv ever same. um yeah but I recently am watching like this limited series with a friend of mine called The Regime, which is sort of about this like Russia-esque country that like gets away from, it's like a global, I don't know. It's, it's a limited series, it's six episodes, but the amount of Samsung product placement in that show is mm. insane. Everyone has an S24 and every TV is the Serif TV. That's like the LCD TV, but it ha it's like really pretty and has Killer those like TV. yeah yeah, and it's just every every single piece. Wait, of Wait, don't you have that TV? What TV do you have? No, now? I don't have that. I don't have a TV. Oh, I don't watch that type TV. of stuff. Takes me out of a movie. It's <clears throat> it, like it is really subtle because again, like the S twenty four looks like a generic. <sighs> generate me a phone. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the S twenty four looks it, like. That's true. And the Serif TV is like it just kind of looks like a fancy. TV and it's also on it has legs so they just have it sitting in the middle of the room because it's supposed to be an extremely fancy like castle mm. so it kind of makes sense it takes me out of it if it's like a very specific phone. or the shot when it yeah, like shows like a, the shot yeah, yeah, like yeah. oh they're using a they surface also, duo 2 like what yes yes they also uh they have a couple galaxy folds in the show oh, really? as well but it they're always open and they all they never have a crease because it's like superimposed. <laughs> and then there's a couple of shots where they like close it. And I'm like, there's no branding attached to it, but it's so obvious to me they're trying to subliminally get Samsung in people's heads. I wonder about that. They also have Ro Rolls Royce product placement because they had the Rolls the the electric Rolls Royce that we reviewed Spectre? the Spectre in the show. And there's like two shots where the camera is just directed at the wheel with the Rolls Royce logo. Of course. Okay, yeah. what do you think is less effective? Product placement in a Hollywood blockbuster movie or a billboard right over the Lincoln Tunnel? As far as like billboard. effectiveness of how many dollars you just spent versus how many customers you get. I think the billboard over the Lincoln Tunnel is just brand awareness. It's yeah. like it I just think... slams it into your head every day. And I mean, does... the Rolls Royce close up is kind of also the same thing. Yeah, but you only see it once. Here's my the billboard argument. you see a, a million times. That's true. A billboard you look at, you're expecting an ad. A TV show you're watching, you don't want an ad in oh, the middle so of it. Slimy. I hate so it. like, <laughs> yeah, like if I'm looking at a billboard, I'm like, okay, what was I expecting? Like yeah. I was expecting that to not try and sell me something. Whereas like yeah. I'm watching a TV show, and it's just like they just take this really close up selfie with like a Google Pixel like right in the camera. It's yeah, just like that they, that hits different though, right? Because like I don't. It annoys me when I see a billboard. My brain just like blacks it out. I don't actually know what was on that billboard once I pass it. You asked which one is more effective, not if yeah. either of them are I effective. I think they're both incredibly ineffective. Correct. I think your subconscious does know though. Cause it's the same thing as like uh, as like jingles. Like it's, it's in your head in this way where like when you think of, oh, what do I want for lunch? And McDonald's is just kind of there. Yeah, I think we right. all underestimate how effective those are. I have no idea. I think if you if you had a form in front of me and you were like, how affected are you by ads? I would just go, no, not, not at, all. at all. I look at the reviews, I objectively pick the better product, I don't care. But like, it's the first thing you think of when you think of that something. category. It's, it's got very something. effective. It's really effective. Jess used to work at an advertising yeah. company, and she would be like, the amount of like data they have that shows how effective it is will hmm. scare you. It's yeah. very effective. Like yeah. she'll, We'll be watching a show, and she'll be like, oh, that was product placement. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she'll like, rewind it 10 seconds, and it's like, oh, yeah, they picked up like a very particular brand of phone or something. I needed, to, I needed, <laughs> I needed an experiment where like, People watch two different versions of a movie, and then after they go, all right, buy a speaker online, and they see how many of them buy the Beats speaker because they saw the Beats. You, I'm placement. sure that's been. Done. I want that. To ha I <laughs> you want could that do that study. by just that's one cool. one group watches it with the placement, one watches it without it, and then they go purchase something afterwards exactly. and see if it. Yeah, 
I'll that be, study has to have been done. Oh right? yeah, I will. I'll be looking for it afterwards on Statista or something. I, I encountered my first Serif TV in a really crazy product placement. I don't think it was like actually like they paid to put it in there, but I saw the Serif TV for the first time in a museum. That makes sense. Like, at, not like it was on the wall showing something. Yeah. Like it was the plaque said Samsung Serif mm. TV oh. designed by it was it was designed huh. by a real pretty famous pair oh. of designers named oh. the Burelek brothers. So and it was an exhibit about their design. Huh. But oh. that I, feels addy to me. It feels a little addy, but you know what's so sad about that TV? It's a beautiful TV with one of their worst displays that they it's make. It's so true. Aww. It's so, it's that's just why it feels addy. So Isn't expensive. It, it's an IPS. LCD display. Yeah, it's an right? LCD. It's and like, they have all of these OLED TVs and they Samsung. made it a freaking LCD. Does Samsung have OLED or they're legs. QLED, right? Well, anything that's not LCD. Okay. Is, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. I'm just making, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, ha- it has legs. Has legs. That is really cool. And you can play Avatars and MetaQuest don't even have legs. Speaking yeah. of avatars. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Because we that were was so good. Uh, why are you? Why are you uh, stopping that? I, <laughs> I just wanted to go ahead. What did you okay, want? Okay, okay, you okay. We'll get, and then Andrew will say it again. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, you say it. <laughs> okay, just to round out this like RCS thing. Uh-huh. Um, as part of the Department of Justice filing, they note that Apple is did say they were going to support RCS, but Apple only said that they were they only committed to supporting the 2019 version of RCS with no commitment to updating as the standard evolved. Uh, And as I understand right now, they are working with the GSMA to develop a open sourced encryption protocol because they don't wanna go through Google, which makes a lot of sense. Mm. But again, still gonna be a green bubble. It's gonna support the absolute basics. Bare minimum, It's not gonna have any of the iMessage stuff. And I think that at this point, the green bubble versus blue bubble paradigm is already so strong that they're probably just like, all right, we'll play ball and it won't really matter. Okay, wait, I have a question about that, that you just brought up. Yeah. That I just thought of when you were saying that. Uh So you don't think it would be a different color than green? Because what happens if you do get a text from something that's not RCS? Pink. That's a good point. You know, like what if someone, oh, I think they'll get, keep it green. What's and worse than green? What if they're just different that's shades of green? Pink bubble would be so fun. I think, I think if I was guessing, because we don't really know, I'm guessing they will all just be green. I think SMS and RCS yeah. will all just still be green. I think so. But then how will you know? It'll just be they care. iPhone or not iPhone. <laughs> I just don't think they care. And the, there will be the slight difference of like, your mom can send you a higher resolution video now. It's yeah. like the RCS advantages it, to some extent will be there. Yeah. If, if I send you a high res video, it'll still it'll but work. But if I'm like texting my dad who has RCS turned on and my mom who has RCS turned off, mm-hmm. as a regular user, I'm not going to understand the difference if they're I don't think green. They I'm like, how come the image is clear with you and blurry with you? Yeah. Buy your mom an RCS turned <laughs> on. <laughs> from, from what I understand, the reason that they made iMessage blue is because they, or the way, reason they made Android messages green on iPhones is because they wanted to denote that you were paying for the SMS text. Because mm-hmm. at the time, you none of these oh. carriers had unlimited texting, and so yeah. you had to pay per text, or you had a hundred per month, or something like that. I remember I had a hundred per month, and I begged my mom every month. I was like, "Please move me into unlimited. It's five dollars more." And Let me get two hundred. Like, no, I was <laughs> yeah. like, and that counted for outbound and inbound messages. Oh no, I remember my mom being like, "This is how many texts. Like, this is what you have to pay me this month because you went over these." Yeah, text I, was messages. Yeah, I, grew, like, yeah. I was on a family plan, and my sister was cooking up all the minutes. <laughs> have any text left. The we get it. You guys yeah. are old. Yeah. Adam, you right here with us. Yeah, you're older than me. <laughs> yeah, so blue is over the internet and it was free. Yeah, so it's free. So that was that was the sort of like denotion they were trying to like portray to people. But I agree with you. I think they're all going to be green and I don't think they're going to have. They might have a little check mark in the bottom or something that shows that it was like internet related, but I I really think they're going to make it as bare bones as possible just to say we care about security. Mm. So. Well, <laughs> wait, I got one. I got one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, it seems like Apple's RCS rollout date is still up in the air, which you could kind of say means it's a floating date. Speaking, it's going to be I, it's going to be coming out with a new iPhone because it's going to be iOS 18. <laughs> Sorry, I just ruined that whole thing. I'm Marquez, sorry. Marquez, I'm please sorry. complete the okay, alley. Wait, wait, wait. Before you finish that. 
<laughs> I am hopeful that at WWDC, when they release the betas of iOS 18, if it's included in the betas, that'd be nice. So that would so we could start using it in June would be great. So what do you guys think Google's gonna kill next? What is the least staying power? Or it doesn't make a billion dollars. Don't say it too loud, because it might actually happen. I hope it's not tasks. <laughs> I just started using tasks and I'll be very upset. I if it's always tasks. think Narrator. they're gonna kill it. It was tasks. I don't <laughs> look, they've got keep. You know, they could just integrate they could just add tasks features to keep. Google never integrates things that you you would think they Makes do, sense but then integrate. they just end up killing one of them. Yeah. They'll integrate features from one to the other and then kill it. Yeah, they make a redundant product. Yeah. And then they were like, wait, why do we have two of these? They kill one of them and then like integrate like one or two of the features into the old one. And then they light the building on fire. That's what they did all the development <laughs> of the other one. And then they fire the employees. Yeah. As yeah. long as they don't cancel or kill the subscribe button. Agreed. Did that light up for you? I would hope YouTube sticks around. I'd like that. I think brutal. it makes a billion dollars. So it'll yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're safe. So yeah. yeah, make sure you subscribe so you can stick around the whole YouTube thing. Also like and comment. <laughs>